guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am here today with Cheryl and Zoe. So you guys definitely know Cheryl. She's been on my channel before. She's actually in my most popular video ever to date, US UK accent challenge, mm -hmm. um, which we're kind of refilming today, except with the addition of Canada. <laughs> we have Zoe here. I just met her a few days ago. We've been having so much fun hanging out in Paris all together. So I will put their channels in the top of the description box down below. So make sure you check them out and subscribe. Like you just said, oh, uh, my phone's on the nightstand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what would you call? I probably call it a bedside table. Bedside table. Bedside yeah. table. Yeah. Okay, okay. I would, I would probably say nightstand. I mean, I've heard bedside table before. Mm. That's quite long. That's the thing. Like you often understand each other, but it's just not something you use. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things do come up, and you're like, "What was that, <laughs> that you just said?" Like, for example, what do you use if you are writing something with pencil and you need to correct it? What would you use to? Okay, you go first. Eraser. Eraser. Rubber. Okay, rubber means something else. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it on this channel. <laughs> it's a PG channel. <laughs> yeah. But what would you call, for example, um, when if a baby's crying, you want to put it something in their mouth to stop them crying? What would you call that? A soother. I would say a nooker or a pacifier. A dummy. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is different from all of us. I've a heard dummy. pacifier, but never nooker. Dummy. I don't know. Never nooker dummy, was ever. literally just something my mom said, or that's like a real word. But okay. I think nook is a Brand? Yeah, Matthias is nodding. Nookie. You would say, oh, we Nookie. have Swiss German as well. You would say Nookie. Nookie, yeah. okay. In the same vein of like baby stuff, what would you put a baby in to push it around? Um, a stroller. Stroller. A buggy. Buggy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, buggy, I know some people use to call the thing you use at the grocery store. Yeah, definitely. I used to be a buggy girl. You call it a buggy? <laughs> yeah. In Canada, you call it a buggy. Okay. Buggy. So I know that that's regional in the US for sure, but I'm from the north and we would definitely say shopping cart. I call it a trolley. Trolley, I've never, yeah. Trolley, no. A trolley like comes behind a train or something. I don't know. Right. Trolley. Yeah, I think like the things you have in San Francisco. Those yeah, are yeah, trolleys. trolley. <laughs> yeah. What do you call a carbonated beverage? Fizzy drink. I would say soda. Or pop. Pop. <laughs> okay. Pop, really? Yeah, definitely pop. Never soda. Now some people in America say pop. I think they say pop in Northern Wisconsin and in Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, they say pop, but otherwise. I, mean, I think people, some people in English call it pop. Really? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking of pop, what do you call a popsicle? A lollipop. Like a frozen yeah. one. A frozen popsicle. Okay, an ice lolly. Ice lolly. <laughs> yeah. Ice. You say popsicle? Yeah. Okay, popsicle. Yeah. But is popsicle a brand? I think so. So I like, think it what is. would we call it if it wasn't? Like Italian ice, frozen ice. I don't know. Frozen there's something ice. else like that. Yeah. I know there's another name for it. Popsicle is definitely a brand. Ice pop. Ice pop. Ice. No. Now we're just making things yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the ho the name of the holiday that you go on before you get married? Your bachelorette. Yeah, bachelorette party. Hen do. Hen do. Oh, yeah, and the hen party. Yeah. So, what, what, what was it for a guy? The bachelor. The ba bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, bachelor party. <laughs> direction of a clock. Clockwise. 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 What about the other way around? Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Anti-clockwise. 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 That's yeah. weird. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Okay, so what would you say randomly at the end of the sentence in a question? What? Can you, uh, I don't know. What? <laughs> she means A. I'm, I'm throwing shade. <laughs> uh, a or hey. As a Canadian, we kind of like to, it's almost like saying you know. Mm -hmm. it's like right. A. Right, or hey, or hey. We would definitely say hey. Like, um, it's just around the corner, hey? Yeah. Like, I feel like we would say that. Exactly. Okay. Where I come from. But just the way Canadians say it is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> or we would say right, like if you really yeah. want, like if you really want confirmation. It's not far, right? Oh. Mm. Yeah. But you use it a lot. Like, being around you, you use it for everything. Yeah. Like, you put right um, at the right, end. Right, let's go. Right. Righto. Yeah. Righto. Oh my god. And right replaces okay. Like for you, I feel like right. like if I were to tell you a story. <laughs> right. Right. I feel like I feel like where I come from, like that would kind of be like rude if somebody's telling you a story and you're like, right, right. Yeah. It's like I'm not really listening, but I'm just like yeah. <laughs> Okay, what is the name of the thing that you sit on maybe in front of the TV? Sofa. Sofa. 
You said it wrong. You're supposed to say couch. <laughs> couch. Oh yeah, couch. Couch. <laughs> couch. Yeah, yeah. We we do say couch. I We're don't know European why. now. Sorry, yeah, you're, 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 in, you're in the club. I don't know why we both said sofa. Yeah, you definitely yeah. say couch more than sofa. Yeah, that's true. What's like the country's most popular sport? Football. Hockey. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is really. Yeah. See, I would say football too, but it's a different kind of yeah. Team. You mean yeah, like yeah. Soccer. soccer? Yeah. 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 What's the name of the place where you would leave your car for an extended period of time? Parking lot. Parking lot. Or parking garage. Parkade. Parkade. What? Parkade. Parkade. Okay, I've heard that. Car park. Car park. See, this is backwards, Cheryl. <laughs> car park. You Why? park the car in the parking garage. <laughs> no. Car park. Oh yeah, that's it's true. That's very weird. Because we will have a different word for it, and it's, we're all speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, it is weird. It sounds like slang. Like it's like you cannot. It's like car park. Where the car parks. I don't know. You're missing <laughs> something. It does sound odd to me as so. well. Let us know in the comments below what you would call that. <laughs> what would you wear on your feet if you're going to the gym? Runners. Gym shoes. Trainers. I guess you would also say sneakers. Yeah. Do you say sneakers? No. Do you say sneakers? No. Okay. <laughs> I say gym shoes, but people definitely say sneakers. So at a kind of fairground, what what's the thing that you get on a stick and it's pink and fluffy? Candy. Candy, candy floss. Candy floss. I've heard that before. Yeah. Do people say fairy floss? Right? Okay. Is that England? I've heard or, fairy floss. You've heard fairy floss. Is that Australian? Yes. Is it Australian? I think it's fairy yeah. floss? Yeah. If I if I hear floss, I just think like floss. Yeah. Like oh, okay. Do you call that floss? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> just checking. What's the white stuff that you would maybe put like like a cleanser or a toner on a clean face with? The white stuff? Yeah. It's like the cotton ball. Cotton round. Cotton pad. Cotton ball. Cotton wool. Cotton, cotton wool. wool. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense because that's no. just, just too fabric. Yeah. Show. No way. <laughs> Say Kleenex, but that's a brand. I was gonna say Kleenex initially, but yeah. What would you Facial say? Facial tissue? I don't know. Kleenex? Yeah, tissue. Tissue. Yeah. Tissue. Tissue. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know in Germany they say Tempo, because that's like the main brand. Oh, okay. Oh. What do you use to cut your food at the table? Like silverware, fork and knife, cutlery. You say silverware, come on. Yeah. No, we say cutlery. Cutlery! cutlery. <laughs> silverware is, would be like if your in-laws are coming over or something. And oh, okay. Just posh just stuff. Silverware. Yeah, like silver plates. Yeah, the so, special cutlery. Not that anyone has silver plates, but mm. that's what it conjures in my mind. Mm. Yeah. Silverware. No, silverware can be like plastic silverware. Like somebody could say, like, oh. do you have any plastic silverware? Oh, oh. plastic cutlery. Oh, yeah, plastic <laughs> yeah. cutlery. Wow. Okay. Cutlery. <laughs> That sounds so fancy to me. Yeah. That's funny that you guys think silverware sounds fancy and I think cutlery is like, wow. Yeah. Wow. And what would you say if you were going to kiss with tongues? <laughs> French kissing. French kissing. Snogging. Snogging. <laughs> okay, never heard that. No. Never heard that. That sounds gross. Yeah, it sounds gross. It sounds like... It kind of... Spoogery. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> not. It kind of is. That's What's the place called that you buy medication? The drugstore. Pharmacy. The chemist. The chemist? Yeah. Wow. That's oh, like well, straight out of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> or Shopper's Drug Mart. Yeah, Shopper's Drug Mart. No, I've made that. What's the main brand of chemists in your country? Walgreens? Shoppers. Boots. Oh, yeah, everyone yeah. knows boots for drugs. If you watch like boots haul. any UK <laughs> channels, it's all about boots. I want to go to Boots. Okay, what is this called? Bangs. Bangs. Fringe. Fringe. Yeah. Did you cut that yourself? Yes. Really? Yeah. It looks so nice. Thanks. But yeah, I put on my Instagram, I was like, oh, I just cut my fringe. And people were like, what's a fringe? <laughs> they didn't know what Fringe means like, how do you describe fringe? Like, like you had a sweater and it had a fringe. Like it has like strings hanging down oh, for okay. decoration. Okay. That's yeah, fringe. I think we call that fringing as well. Do you say fringe benefits? Do you know what fringe benefits means? Do you know what fringe, no. fringe benefits? <laughs> so like if you have a job and they offer you a gym membership and a discount at the local, I don't know, what bookstore, that would be like called fringe benefits? Yeah, no. 
No, you've never, I never, heard, never heard of it. Okay, okay. So after like a kindergarten, what's the name of the first school that you'd go to after that? Elementary. Elementary. School? Primary school. Primary school. I've heard of that. I think that it depends on the school system. Yeah, that's true. Know. Definitely. I think it was like elementary school, middle school, high school. Yeah. Is that what you have? Elementary. Yeah. And how old are you when you finish high school, typically? I was 17, but that's young. I was 17, but that's young. Yeah. So like 18. Mm -hmm. And for you, when you, it, you when I was at school, it used to be 16, but they've upped it to 18. That's um, like the required school. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you finished at 16 with high school. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then you go on to do A levels, which is technically still high school, but you just call it upper school or secondary school. And did you have school uniforms? Yeah. Did you have school uniforms? No. No. I'll send you a picture that you can put in. Okay. A perfect. Send uniform. it. Is it common then? Like I think everybody. Yes. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. 100%. So that would be like a private school thing. Yeah, hundred really? percent, hundred percent. Yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah. No, for us, school. everybody wears school uniform. Okay. I don't really understand why. It's kind of weird. I think that wouldn't have been the end of the world, though. That would have been kind of nice. You don't have to worry about like yeah. what to wear and mm -hmm. stuff. I was always worried about that when I was younger. Yeah. That would have been kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Did you hate the uniforms at the time? Well, you don't know any different. Oh, okay. So it's just like I don't know. I mean, they used to say that it would prepare us for the workplace. But <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Did you one. have to iron them, Cheryl? We were told the same about cursive. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have to learn cursive? Yeah. Did you have to learn cursive? What is that? What's cursive? <laughs> handwriting. Oh, handwriting, yeah. But did, like... No, you just write so that it's legible. But you didn't have to learn no. cursive. But you had to learn cursive. Yeah, I forgot yeah. it now. But yeah, I can't even <laughs> So if you say someone is pissed, what does that mean? Angry or really drunk? Uh, really mad. Mine's like, drunk. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it really means drunk. So you're kind of like both, you're like yeah. an amalgamation yeah. of the two of them. Yeah. It's funny. I think, no, yeah. I'm trying to like justify, yeah, you could say pissed means drunk, but I don't really think you could even yeah. say that. I de I'm definitely like right on the fence. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it just depends how they're saying it. And you guys don't say crackers and cookies the same way that we do. No. Like a cookie, what's a cookie to you? A cookie. <laughs> dry biscuit, like a dry, um, you put cheese on it, or uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's maybe salty and, or maybe has um, seeds on it. Okay, something. and a cookie is like, it's just an American like an American. biscuit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a, like if you went into a shop and asked to buy a cookie, you would get a big kind of round thing with chocolate chips in it. Okay, yeah, like a chocolate yeah, chip. like a very specific type of biscuit. Okay, okay. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you found this interesting or entertaining in some way don't forget to check out these two girls in the description box down below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye